Hello and welcome to another video on Inkscape. In this video I'm going to be showing you how you can create a typography template that you can use to create your fonts in Inkscape and then transfer it over to FontForge to turn into a true type font. Stick with us. So to get started I'm going to open up the typography template that we've already got in Inkscape. So I'm going to come up to File I'm going to come down to New From Template and just scroll down our list and click on Typography uh, Canvas at the bottom here. We can then Create From Template. So this gives us a nice canvas to work on for creating our font. Um, these lines unfortunately don't line up particularly well when we transfer our fonts over to FontForge to convert it into a true type font. So we're going to adjust this canvas uh, to better suit our needs. So I'm going to take all of these lines and move them down. So we're going to start with the descender at the bottom. So if we hover our mouse over the line so we get this little hand logo or hand icon, we can double click and we can adjust the Y value. So starting with the descender, we're going to change the value to 1269 and press OK and that'll move it. We do the same with the baseline. I'm going to change this one to 1023 then X height we change to 474 caps we're going to change to 292 and ascender we're going to change to 243. So these are just values that I've come up with to try and sync us up a little bit better with FontForge. So once you've gone through the process yourself you can adjust these to whatever you want. The next thing I want to do is put in some vertical guidelines. So the first one I want is to be at the start of our letter. So we want what's called a bearing at the front which is a little bit of space at the front of our letter. Then we're going to have our letter and then a bit of space at the back. So I'm going to come over and I'm just going to drag in a couple of guides from the side here. Put it roughly where I want it. One there. And we can go and drag another one over. And one about there. And again we can click on these and just set the, the values a bit more accurately. So first thing I'm going to do is set the X value to 40. And the Y value I'm just going to set to 0. And the second one, I'm going to click on, ah, got it spot on. And I set this one, the X value to 540 and the Y value to zero. And that gives us our guidelines for our template. The last thing I want to do is just get rid of the page border. So I'm just going to come up to the top, click on our document properties, and I'm going to come down and untick the show page border box down here. So we can get rid of that again. So that is our template for creating our font completed. So what we need to do now is save that as a template. So if we come up to File, we're going to come down to Save Template, and then we can just name it whatever. So I've named this Font Forge Typography. We can click Save. Now, whenever we want to create a font, we can just come up to File, New from Template. And in here we've now got font forge typography. So now we've got our template set up, we can get on with creating a font. Thanks for watching and I'll see you in the next video.